Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Grandma and Grandpa. I had a great night's sleep in the Ryokin bed. The mattress is actually pretty thick, so it's a lot better than my sleeping mattress that I normally sleep with on the floor on a bike trip. We're getting ready to go downstairs, make some coffee, eat a little bit of breakfast, and today we are going to be doing sightseeing. We're gonna be going around on, I think, buses, trains, gondolas, ferries, so tons of forms of travel today. I get to sit down on my butt and don't have to walk a bunch of places to see beautiful sights. This is what outside of our window looks like. It's been rainy, cloudy, foggy almost the entire time we've been here, but it's not going to ruin our trip. Things can still look beautiful without the sun shining and blue skies. So these are our main jackets that we've been wearing on the trip. They match, don't match, being the same style of jacket but different colors. They're that brand unique low that I was talking about earlier. Pretty good quality. They are down, durable, water repellent, lightweight. I think I paid 30 something dollars for mine because the green color was on sale. I think she paid 60 or 70 for that one. For a down packable jacket, that's not a terrible price. Look how small they pack. Even the sink drains here. Ugh. Very different. So this is the common area of the hostel. I didn't show anyone yesterday. So Kay's house is actually a chain around Japan. They have them in all the different areas. Kyoto, Tokyo. It's our hostel back there, hostel. We have a private room, so it's like hardly a hostel. It's more like a hotel. We're going to the bus stop. And today we're gonna take that same bus, follow this brown line all the way to Lake Ashi. And from here, we're gonna take a ferry all the way to the other side. Are we gonna be able to see anything today or are we just gonna be flying through the clouds? There's like no visibility here. We took a bus up in altitude a little bit and it just got more foggy. You can't see anything. It's like 10 feet of visibility. We might change plans. Shout out to the Bonafide Hustler. There's a car named after you in Japan. They have umbrella parking, that's so funny. This is what we were expecting to see. That's what we got. So here is the beautiful Lake Ashi. We're at a Japanese bakery. This is crazy. There's so many different breads here. So many different little snacks. I think we're gonna try a Hakone because we're in Hakone. Rachel's gonna get this one. Matcha, cherry blossom, and sweet bean. That looks good. things as we can today. Narukawa Art Museum. Boom! And you actually go in it with an escalator. $1,100 each to get in. We get a small gift of a postcard to send home to mom. So there was a discount of 200 yen with the Hakone Pass that we bought that we were supposed to use for the cruise. That was canceled. Well, at least one of us likes the museum. Okay, most of it's just a bunch of artwork by one guy on the wall, but we just found a bunch of kaleidoscopes. This is actually really, really cool. Each one of these is a different artistic piece of kaleidoscope engineering, geometry, art. Very cool. And we're gonna cut to kaleidoscope footage to some dubstep. So even this is a kaleidoscope using natural organic flowers. Oh. So this is an interesting little invention that they're selling. It makes it easy to unplug a plug. 
This would be useful for somebody that's elderly or maybe rheumatoid arthritis and has trouble getting their plugs in and out because of their hand mobility. Japan is so smart and they're very handicap friendly. That goes up the stairs. Do you guys want to see a kaleidoscope of me? Is the foot base really necessary? Imitate this art. Weather has not improved at all. The museum was cool, I liked it. Rachel's not much of a fan. The kaleidoscopes were the saving grace, otherwise it's just like walk around, look at pictures, can't read anything because it's all in Japanese. I like hands-on things, so I thought the kaleidoscopes were cool. We're about to get some noodles if I don't get hit by a car. This is quite quaint. Hot tea. I'm gonna get this, 750 yen. It's curry and rice, and Rice is gonna get this set. Looks like fried food. Some rice, something, and miso soup for 1,200 yen. Mine looks way better than the picture. Hers looks way better than the picture. So hers are like little whole fish. 19 bucks for lunch for that little, little bit of food. One thing I've come to like in Japan already is 7-Eleven. That's where we're gonna go to get some snacks for the rest of the day and tomorrow. Oh, look at that. I had these in Bali, soy joy. They're protein bars. It's matcha pancake. I'm gonna get a couple of these. 7 Eleven's actually like a little supermarket. Compared to the States, there's way more stuff here. Ramen choices, so many ramen choices. Bag of snacks from the 7 Eleven to provide us possibly with a dinner, uh, at least some extra calories. That isn't gonna be $25. I think we're just gonna go back to the hostel. Is that what you wanna do? Weather is still gloomy. Back at the hostel. Just finished editing a video. Our room doesn't have a shower. The thing about this place is it's a communal onsen. Like it's the Japanese style bathhouse. I've never been to one. It is separated into men and women, but the thing is you go in and you're completely naked. I've never done it before. I'm not exactly looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be weird walking around with my nethers out and seeing a bunch of dudes dongs but I haven't showered yesterday or today. It must be done. Cameras can't go in there. I will check back in and let you guys know how it went. Okay, so this is where you go into the onsen. Put your clothes there, whatever. If you brought things with you, your clothes, your shoes. This is where you get naked. And then you come out here, you have these itty bitty stools, buckets, where you wash up body soap, conditioner shampoo with a faucet, the different stations for everybody, nice big drain. And then out here, so out here is where the magic happens. Check it out. Apparently this is natural hot spring water. It has some sort of minerals in it, you soak in it, makes your body feel good, all is groovy. And that is the tour of the K House Onsen. I actually came here, nobody was here, so I just ran and got the camera real quick to show everybody. Hope you enjoyed what an onsen looks like. Totally not supposed to do that. Gonna put the camera away. Please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Any motivational comments, put them in the comments section. Any questions about Japan? And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.